Hello there, welcome back to the yoga, the old Git Reacts Reviews and Off Times Reminiscences. Um, today I'm going to do a cover song by uh, this artiste, Spider God. Um, I don't think I've done a cover song so far, um, although my memory is not that good. But um, it's not uncommon at all for um, extreme metal artists to cover another artist. Um, but usually um, they cover another band of a, a same or similar genre to pay tribute uh, or sometimes they'll <laughs> they'll cover a something from a totally different genre um from a band that is despite not being within that genre is considered cool enough to cover uh, so for example you have um carpathian forest covering the cure or um creek covering um the velvet underground you know They'll get away with that because they were cool back in their time. Um, so when a black metal um, musician covers something really, 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 really fucking cheesy, um, you might be taken aback. Um, but Spider God has done exactly that. He's done um, an album of covers of pop songs. Uh, bravo for that. Uh, <laughs> You know, um, punk bands do it all the time, uh, but uh, sort of um, frosty black metal bands um, don't tend to. Um, perhaps on the evidence of this, they ought to lighten up a bit. Let's listen and you can see why. recognize this song somehow i don't listen to um mainstream music at all uh other than by accident and so if it's on an advert or um having somebody else's house uh and it's on um i don't listen to the radio when i'm driving so um i recognize this but i don't know from where probably something in, in a you know when i'm in the uh electrical superstore buying something to be playing in the background maybe who knows um but i recognize it but i ain't got a clue what it is there are other songs on here which um because they cover um a few decades i do recognize because my kids when they were really really little um would listen to them and one of the joys of this album is you go what's this What's this? I know what this is. And then the chorus kicks in and you go, oh, fucking hell, of course it is. Um, I think the other thing about this uh, this album and, and the, this song is it uh, it uh, supports Boyle's law, one of his th laws of thermodynamic, for the thermodynamics, if I can say it, that um, doesn't matter how shit something is, if, if the faster it gets, the better it gets. So, um, you know, if you were... Uh, if you want your physics proven, there you go. Look no further. <laughs>
So, further to my previous comment, uh, blast beaks make blast beaks make everything better, don't they? Um, I think what this uh, the reason I'm taken with uh, this album and what uh, has been done on it is, <laughs> it, uh, yes, it's far far faster and heavier and, and what have you and uh, sort of growly black metal vocals, but the pop sensibility hasn't been totally slaughtered it's still there in the melodies and what have you um so i suppose it would have been easy for for the um for this chap to have just forsaken all the melody and the cheesiness i suppose if you want to put it into that that uh, or accessibility i suppose uh and made it far harsher, uh, but he hasn't, and that's part of the genius of, of what's been done here. Um, <laughs> you know, familiar, familiarity always sort of helps in engagement, but even so, even if there's one or two songs on here I don't know at all, um, and still sound great, um, but, you know, even if he's removed most of the cheese, he's, he's left the rind in there, that's for sure. I say he, presuming he. Brilliant. So, uh, some of you may recognise that what that what that song's called. Uh, I recognise it, but I ain't got a clue what it what it is to be honest. Um, so, from an album called Black Renditions, which gives you a clue as to what what's going off there. But um, you know, we live in a world of shit and misery, uh, and sometimes you want something that. Um, or most of the time for me anyway, I want something that uh, lifts me up and uh, puts a smile on my face. Um, there's plenty of other things to make me miserable, um, not that I usually am, but uh, to ponder upon, shall we say, to stroke my chin and wonder where the world is going. Um, so when you hear songs like this done the way they are, I can only delight in it because it, it is uplifting. <laughs> and as I say, uh, some of the... Um, some of the songs, when you realise what they are, it, it is you burst out laughing. It's it's a hoot. Um, Spider God, the artist, um, I'm not uh, I'm familiar with from um, from splits he's done. There's a four four revelations of the wind, is it that he's done with uh, with other artists. Um, is is rawer elsewhere, but still has that melody so it's no surprise really that he has so expertly transferred the the, mel the pop melody into a black metal melody um i'm all for it and if you don't you're just a miserable twat and go and hide in the corner somewhere sorry has to be said anyway clicky box if you want and um catch you all next time cheerio